more flexible in the experiments which use the uh, accelerator and uh, also some uh, target system or some uh, or beam dump. So, so most of these works, uh, I, I have been collaborated with uh, many, uh, many excellent physicists in here, uh, including Baska and Dujin and Adrian. So uh, about about uh, two two and a half years. So uh, yeah, I'd like to talk about some uh, simulation a little of that I have been doing about this. And yeah, okay. so so yeah, uh, this is an overview of my talk today. So I'd like to introduce very brief uh, about briefly about that matter. And also the, the specific models that I'm going to interest that I'm interested in. So that's an article by my partner and uh, excellent article. And I'd like to talk about uh, uh, unit that's uh, a particle project that uh, the unit grammar. And also the uh, this is somewhat uh, uh, new concept a uh, conceptual uh, uh, experiment design. Called Damta, and I'd like to talk about the uh, axiom like particle search at the Damta experiment. So, yeah, as you know, the dark matter is the most pressing uh, question of the uh, modern particle physics. And uh, there are many, uh, no, uh, many evidences of the uh, existence of the dark matter. So, one of, the, one of them is this uh, cosmic microwave background, which was uh, observed observed by uh, Planck experiment in 2018. This is uh, showing showing us that the, the wiggling patterns of the uh, uh, cosmic microwave background, and this allows us to know the uh, the cosmic density of the uh, units of, uh, is, uh, near the uh, yellow pie yellow pie chart is showing the ordinate matter, and the red one is the uh, uh, amount of the dark matter in the universe. So uh, we know, you know, uh, uh, you know, just a, uh, approximately just five percent of the universe, but not, uh, the, the other side of the universe is, uh, uh, remains mystery to everybody. Uh, to, to us. So, yeah, this uh, this is another evidence of the dark matter, which is historically this is the first uh, evidence that humankind found that uh, about the dark matter. Uh, this is uh, the galaxy rotation curve. Uh, by looking at the uh, uh, amount of the redshift to uh, uh, the uh, different points of the different locations of the galaxy, we, we will be able, uh, we observe some uh, differential uh, uh, rotation uh, speed of the uh, uh, galaxy. So, uh, the, which is which is uh, uh, not expected from the uh, uh, this uh, Keplerian uh, prediction, so it shows about uh, factor two gaps in the in the uh, in this uh, in this plot. So, so the question is the what 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 is the source of this uh, additional energy? So people people are thinking about it. Uh, that man can answer this question. And this is another another uh, evidence for that man. So this is. Uh, it is actually show, uh, shows you the bullet cluster, and uh, here the blue, uh, blue colored area is the uh, uh, area of, uh, affected by the gravitational range effect, and the red colored area is the, uh, where we can see the, the gas cloud by uh, you know, uh, X -ray, using this uh, X ray effect. So, this mismatch of the uh, two, two different regions shows that. Uh, there must be some uh, additional additional uh, source of energy so, and physics and astronomers I think that only the only dark matter can answer this kind of anomaly. So there are many a bunch of uh, many there are many different uh, theories of uh, dark matter that can that can explain the uh, three different stuff. Uh, Evidences of the uh, existence of dark matter, and today I'm going to cover here just a little bit about, about a section here in the called uh, hidden sector dark matter and its uh, axial like type. So this is the uh, uh, yeah I'd like to talk more details about this here uh, later. And so traditionally we uh, 
So two physicists who wanted to find uh, what is the best uh, dark matter theory that describes the, the current observation uh, well enough. So uh, a few decades, few de decades uh, this physicists that uh, have been uh, to a certain type of code, uh, dark matter for a weekly interesting uh, massive particle. So there was there was some reason there was a reason that wink it has to be uh, popular because uh, wink can be explained in the framework of the uh, standard model and using the standard using not not introducing some weird physics we can we can we can find some uh, lower limit of the uh, uh, dark matter mass in the standard model uh, framework uh, that can that explains the relative density of the dark. So we call this the uh, wind miracle, and this was the reason uh, why we uh, physicists favored uh, this uh, wind model uh, few, uh, with, uh, in the last few decades. So this graph shows you that the, the, uh, the historical uh, wind search rate is in the in the last few decades of in the uh, direct measurement, direct uh, direct detection uh, experiment. So as you can see that. The, the the Lee Weinberg uh, uh, bound is around here in two GeV, and in the in this uh, uh, mass range, uh, less uh, heavier than two GeV in this region. There were the, there were many experiments tried to uh, for this uh, wimp like uh, wimp dark matter, but uh, it, uh, here the shaded area is already excluded region and. Uh, <coughs> That area is the uh, expected uh, solution limit of the uh, future uh, uh, dark matter search experiments in, in the, using this uh, direct detection measurement. But however, so far, although the many efforts of this uh, excellent experiments from the excellent physicists from the from uh, for decades of of uh, uh, effort, we we did not. Uh, have any uh, positive results from from this uh, about about this uh, wind? So people try to look look, look at this uh, another this uh, un, unexplored uh, mass uh, scales, which is the uh, uh, lighter mass scale region. So in order to uh, in order to uh, <clears throat> explore this region, we need to be uh, we need to introduce a new uh, interaction so that uh, we can be we can avoid this uh, from this. Uh, we can free from this uh, Lee Weinberg uh, uh, bound, which is uh, a stand, uh, a standard model limit. So, so uh, this become naturally become the problem of the uh, beyond standard model. So, uh, we need uh, theoretical physicists and experimental physicists to, uh, 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 to find some new creative and innovative uh, approaches of, this, of the dark matter uh, problems. So in this uh, presentation, uh, in this presentation, I would like to focus on uh, dark, uh, light dark matter, which is uh, uh, kind of a, a hidden sector uh, dark matter model, which, uh, and, uh, most uh, simplest hidden sector dark matter model. So in this benchmark model, uh, the standard model photon is uh, kinetically mixed with a uh, new gauge boson called uh, dark photon. And the dark photon uh, we, uh, mediate uh, uh, in, an interaction called four interaction between the uh, standard model photon and the dark photon. And this dark, dark photon is gained uh, to a uh, pair of uh, dark, dark, uh, dark matter particles. And so, uh, one thing we can, uh, uh, one thing we remark is that the dark matter flux is, is uh, proportional to the uh, photon flux. And we need to, uh, we need some uh, efficient uh, photon vector in order to get this uh, uh, copious amount of this uh, dark matter. So, that's why the region uh, we are considering the Dune is a great place, a good, a nice place to. Uh, okay test this kind of scenario. And also, there's another uh, another benchmark model I'm interested in. So, so uh, ALP is that. So a a the ALP is produced through the uh, Primakov process, uh, which is a coupled with this uh, photon and, and epsilon with this uh, detector material. Uh, or, uh, here, the, uh, the production of the target material. 
And so uh, as, as a, a light up mirror did show, show before, so AFP also coupled together with the uh, photon. And so uh, in order to have uh, uh, enough uh, AFP block, we need a uh, uh, high intensity photon block. And again, so the, the Dune is a uh, Dune like uh, experiment, is a great, uh, great place to uh, test this kind of model. So as I said, that uh, both both, uh, both physics models have in common that uh, 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 coupling with photon and this uh, new new uh, new physics particle together in uh, uh, I mean their characteristic that the both those uh, their origin is the photon in this uh, uh, characteristic is in, uh, in important. So uh, therefore, the phase uh in order to produce this kind of particle copies, we need an uh, efficient photon factory. And one of them is we are considering uh, is that you need a good place for doing to produce this photon, uh, uh, photons. And also, I'm considering the uh, uh, new, uh, uh, novel concept of this uh, experiment, which is called DAMSA, uh, to detect those uh, uh, sector particles. So, uh, Dune is actually not for, uh, is actually, the, their primary goal is a neutrino population physics. So, uh, in, in order to, uh, in order to uh, measure the neutrino, neutrino population uh, precisely, they need a uh, uh, high intensity, pure uh, neutrino block. So, uh, that, like, that is actually, uh, 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 that they need, they need, the reason they need uh, uh, a high intensity, they use high intensity proton beam. And uh, this is actually uh, good, good for, uh, we, we found that this is actually good for searching for um, dark matter in the, in the dune. So the cross sectional view of the dune experiment it looks like this. So uh, here's the here's Fermilab, a proton accelerator delivers a 120 G the high intensity uh, proton beam into the uh, near detector. And it's uh, and, and at the top, uh, there's a target system and near detector is here. And in the target, uh, uh, we produce a uh, uh, high intensity neutrino beam and uh, we measure the neutrino beam in the near detector and first. And then we measure the uh, near, near detector, uh, we measure the neutrino beam at the far detector. So in order to reduce the systematic uncertainty of the, uh, the experiment, we need a high precision detector for both near and far detector. We have a, a liquid argon detector and gases argon detector, and uh, which is a temporary uh, yeah, gases argon detector in the, in the fully upgraded uh, uh, process. And, and also we have a sand detector. And uh, we have a, a large volume of a uh, uh, fire detector, the uh, dark So what we are interested in, in this presentation is this uh, near detector part. So if I zoom into this uh, near detector uh, complex, I have a uh, beam extraction size is here. So 120 GB beam is extracted from the main injector. And then it, we deliver this to the target hole. So uh, in the in the target hole, we use we use uh, uh, a cylinder like uh, cylinder shape uh, target material, which is uh, uh, which material is a graphite, and then uh, we have a hadron observer here to filter out any uh, remaining hadron, so that we we, we can obtain a purified uh, neutrino beam that uh, near the target hole. So. Uh, in order to uh, enhance, the, uh, enhance the neutrino beam uh, intensity, we use uh, home, mag magnetic horn, uh, focusing horn system to target. To target. Uh, so here, the horn A is surrounding the target, and horn B and horn C is just having a, a, a vacuum chain, a air chain, air and a, a magnetic, a magnetic field so, so that they can just they can use uh, they can focus the uh, Charged pions and then the ch focused charged pion create a focused uh, neutrino beams. So this is the uh, uh, view cross sectional view of the, the near detector. So here is the beam exit from the from target system, and there is a, a 
uh, near the expectory kid argon detector and the ND car is there and uh, send the text. So the uh, in order to measure uh, the uh, neutrino flux at the near detector site, we use uh, liquid argon uh, TPC. Here, here the, uh, we use a thirty ton uh, thirty ton uh, liquid argon here, and uh, the size of the detector is about uh, four meter by three meter by five meter, and the neutral volume is about uh, three meter by two meter by three meter. And the uh, liquid argon has a, a fourteen centimeter. Uh, Radiation length, and it, it is expected that we have a uh, ten to the six uh, charged current neon neutrino interaction in, in here, and uh, at five thousand uh, neutrino and electron scattering in here for uh, thirty thirty tons of liquid. And this is an uh, estimated uh, uh, performance of the liquid ion uh, using using some simulated simulation. You see the, the angular resolution of the electron set. This is the uh, uh, angular resolution of the 1 GD electron, and it shows the angular resolution of the 5 GD electron. It, and it shows the, uh, the, the resolution uh, in terms of, as a function of the electron energy. So, uh, in order to search, uh, uh, produce the new, uh, neutrinos in the neutrino experiment, what is the important parameter for the uh, to produce the neutrino is uh, efficiently is that uh, are that uh, one is the neutrino, uh, nuclear interaction length and the second is ion interaction, so that uh, so that they can produce more uh, charged ions and then this uh, effective production of the charged ion means the effective production of the uh, neutrinos and. Uh, thanks to their uh, thanks to this uh, uh, effort for this uh, to to produce this uh, uh, neutrinos eff effectively. Actually, it is benefit it has benefit to create uh, uh, photon photons uh, too. So uh, if you see this uh, uh, different uh, uh, scenarios of I mean different journeys of this uh, photon, there are uh, several different uh, processes that are involved in to. Uh, producing this uh, photon. So uh, not only just uh, uh, neutron meson decay, there are also many different types of uh, photon sources are there. So I, uh, in order to simulate those kind of uh, uh, production mechanism, uh, production chain, I'm, I'm using a JN4 simulation to precisely simulate to this uh, uh, target and beam interaction. So, uh, so I'm sorry that there are some glitches in here, but yeah, in any case, so this is a, a plot of uh, pi zero that I simulated using the GN4 simulation, and this is the uh, this shows the photon plot production using the using GN4 simulation. You can, you can compare that uh, there's a, a, some. Uh, Unne unnegligible amount of uh, uh, contribution from this uh, from the different type of uh, uh, physical processes other than this uh, uh, high zero FDK. So after we obtain this uh, uh, higher block, we, uh, uh, high, and, and we, after we obtain this uh, photon block, we convert this, those photons into the uh, dark matter. In order to obtain, in order to know this uh, uh, the flux shape of the dark matter, so we convert the uh, standard matter photon into dark matter, and then let, let them decay into two uh, pair of dark matters, and we will we, 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 we be able to obtain this uh, dark matter uh, flux shape. And uh, after we know this dark matter flux PDX, then we we put this uh, dark matter flux shape into the uh, Gini simulation. To, to get the, uh, the detector response, I mean, uh, interactions inside the uh, uh, interaction of dark matter in, in the, in the uh, detector material. So I implemented, uh, I, I, I used, I, I'm using this uh, neural detector uh, geometry with uh, Gini, uh, uh, Gini version 3 with the uh, uh, dark matter uh, package. And then I, I also put the, uh, the uh, 
that matter of flux that I just obtained from the photon flux. And then I will be able to use, uh, see the electron uh, recoiling. And also in using the same technique, I, I, can, I can also produce the background in the system. So we can uh, we can use the Dune uh, standard neutrino flux simulation result, and then we put this into the uh, uh, near detector complex uh, geometry, and then we will be able to obtain the uh, neutrino uh, recoiled electrons by uh, neutrinos. So this is the this is the neutrino flux that I'm using for my background simulation uh, with the different uh, uh, home current mode. And different uh, for the for the different uh, neutrino types, and this one is the uh, energy spectrum, and this is the angular spectrum. And it shows some example results of this, uh, the uh, neutrino uh, background uh, simulation result using uh, linear output. So this shows the energy spectrum of the recorded electron by the neutrino neutrino electron scattering, and it shows the uh, angular spectrum. And it shows two dimensional drawing of the uh, energy and energy and angular distribution angle distribution of the uh, recoil electron. So there is also another interesting uh, feature in, in in Dune. So Dune actually has Dune uh, near near detector uh, liquid atom detector has a special, a special operation mode for the Dune prism. Actually, this was introduced uh, to uh, improve the systematic uncertainty. Uh, I mean, to control the systematic uncertainty of the experiment uh, for the uh, uh, neutrino oscillation physics by removing some amount of the uh, material in the beam, on the beam axis. So uh, we will be able to uh, measure the neutrino, uh, neutrino with, uh, with more, uh, less, less material budget in the, in the path of the neutrino. And uh, when when there is no uh, uh, liquid argon detector is here, we we use the sand to uh, to measure the amount of the neutrino flux at the near detector site. So by by doing that, we will be able to uh, control the systematic amount of uh, uncertainty of the uh, neutrino oscillation physics result. But in this uh, in our uh, scenario in, in our uh, our physics uh, interest of the light uh, dark matter subject. Uh, this is this actually works as a by uh, reducing the uh, uh, neutrino background. So uh, you can see that uh, uh, on uh, you can see different uh, neutrino. Uh, uh, this is actually not neutrino. This is uh, uh, muon neutrino. This is uh, the charge current uh, uh, interaction event rate. So it's, uh, this is the on axis case. This is a meter of axis. 60 meter of axis and 24 meter of axis. You can see that flux is uh, significantly uh, reduced uh, by uh, blockading the near detector in the uh, off axis position. So uh, this reduces the uh, neutrino background. This is actually uh, work done by Kevin a few years ago using the, comparing this. Uh, uh, even on axis mode and the prism. And so, yeah, this is, this was the, done, uh, uh, this was a phenomenal, phenomenological study. So, so my, my uh, uh, goal about this uh, physics is that uh, I would like to have um, a realistic uh, uh, experimental, I mean, uh, simulation output that, uh, that can take into account the uh, full, uh, full reconstruction process. Procedure. So I would like to reproduce this similar uh, output in the future. And there's also uh, another interesting idea proposed uh, last, last year is that is the uh, Dune uh, dump mode, and sometimes we call it uh, off-target mode or targetless mode. So that what the idea is that uh, we, uh, uh, thinking about what if we can remove the uh, target system uh, in the uh, in axis, so we use uh, uh, we use the hot hadron observer as our target, and uh, by doing that, we are expecting that uh, uh, enhanced signal uh, flux because uh, now the source source point is more close to the near detector, whereas uh, whereas the target system is uh, about uh, three hundred meter away from the uh, near detector, but uh, in the if we, if, we, uh, if the proton beam interacts with the target uh, observable, then the 
the distance between the detector and the source is much much shorter. So that we, we, we can expect that uh, uh, in a the signal block. And also the material of the observer is actually uh, uh, suppressed the uh, production of the charged pie, charged pie. So uh, it will also reduce the uh, neutrino in this background. Uh, so that it's a, it, it will give us a benefit for the uh, uh, BSM studies in the near, near, near detector. So this was done by uh, years of, a uh, few years of uh, collaboration with Eugene and Bhaskar and uh, Adrian. So uh, using, using the gen simulation, uh, we, we, we obtained this uh, uh, neutrino uh, flux when there is no uh, target. And so this is the, we, this is, we, this is the dump mode uh, uh, estimate, I mean, uh, simulation output. Of, of, of the uh, neutrino and anti neutrino. And this uh, dotted line is the uh, uh, ordinary uh, target targeting scenario we have in the uh, standard uh, Dune uh, LBN uh, target simulation. <laughs> if you take, uh, take this uh, ratio of these uh, two uh, scenarios, you will get this uh, ratio of plus. And if you can see that there's a uh, maximum uh, 10 to the minus 4. Uh, Background reduction that is uh, is uh, uh, expected. <clears throat> so this shows that the uh, estimated uh, uh, sensitivity reach of the of, of the uh, dump mode. You can see that this uh, solid um, solid red line is uh, just three months of the operation with with the uh, uh, zero point six megawatt, which is the half of the design uh, beam uh, power. And uh, one year of dump mode is uh, uh, like this, and you can uh, can compare this with the ordinary target target mode uh, operation. So these are the uh, the uh, the work that I'm involved in with the Dune experiment, and uh, I'd like to exp uh, uh, I'd like to introduce you about the Dampa conceptual uh, experimental proposal. So uh, Dampa means that the dog produced Aboriginal matter such as an accelerator, which means that uh, this, uh, uh, we want to use uh, accelerator-driven uh, experiment facility and to, to find the uh, uh, dark sector particles. Uh, this one, the key idea of this uh, new experimental proposal is that we, use, we want to use the proximity of the detector to the target in order to obtain the maximum acceptance of the uh, maximum flux of the signal. So our first uh, benchmark study was done uh, under the assumption of this uh, ALTX, ALT particle version. And uh, we assumed uh, six MEV proton D and uh, the POT per year is assumed uh, 1.5 uh, times 10 to the 23 uh, protons on target. And uh, uh, so the main requirement of this uh, experiment is actually the control of the uh, beam related neutron background. So uh, I was deeply involved in this, uh, how we uh, mitigate the uh, beam related uh, neutron background. So in this presentation, I would like to introduce the strategies that I studied about how, how we mitigate this uh, DRM. So yeah, uh, the, but uh, ALP is the, the same you know, that I just uh, previously introduced. So we, uh, the ALP, we, we use a dump to produce the ALP, and then the, uh, we use a uh, detector system to, uh, to, uh, to measure the uh, ALP signal. And uh, but the uh, important point is that we, we put the detector very close uh, location to the dump system so that it can maximize the ALP flux. Uh, uh, in the detector system. So this is the layout of the uh, downside experiment. So we place here, here some uh, dump material. In this specific uh, uh, study, I use uh, we use a tungsten uh, dump, and uh, here's the uh, decay chamber, uh, which you keep some uh, amount of uh, volume to to ALD to be decaying. And uh, and here's the here's the detector. So 
As a result of the study, uh, we found that uh, in this kind of setup, uh, we need to have a fine granularity of the uh, detector. And fine, uh, uh, and also the fast and precise timing timing uh, uh, measurement capability for this uh, detector. The, the reason why we need this uh, is that uh, uh, we actually placed this uh, decay chamber in order to let uh, uh, we can uh, study about what, uh, how how the neutron beam beam related to produced in this uh, chamber. So. Uh, <clears throat> In the in the uh, whole simulation process, we uh, we divided the simulation process into three uh, three steps. So first of all, we we, we simulate the uh, dump beam, uh, photon beam, and dump simulation, and then we obtain the uh, uh, signal and background information from this simulation, and then we pass this information to the uh, decay chamber simulation. So in the decay chamber simulation, we put the neutron uh, flux neutron flux information. To the uh, in, in what uh, in the in the detector at, uh, in the uh, decay chamber, and then we see what these uh, neutri neutron neutrons uh, do in, in inside the decay chamber. So that we will be able to uh, see whether there is any chance we can uh, 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 filter out these uh, neutrons in the decay chamber. So. Uh, oh, and also, uh, we put uh, some uh, in order to uh, uh, control the amount of the uh, neutron from the from the dump. Uh, we put uh, uh, some moderator material in the uh, in the box uh, surrounding surrounding the dump material. So we we studied uh, different types of material, but uh, the polyurethane is chosen to be the most uh, uh, effective material. And we also studied uh, uh, various uh, thickness of the polyurethane, and it it turns out to be the neutron survival rate is a function of the uh, uh, power spectrum and uh, and uh, exponentially decaying uh, uh, behavior. So we choose uh, twenty centimeter is the optimized uh, moderate thickness, and in it turns out that uh, we can we can kill uh, three. Uh, uh, about 96.5 percent of the neutron using this using this uh, uh, neutron modulation, and, but this is actually uh, uh, most of the neutrons are killed in this uh, low energy region. So you can see that still there's a high energy region that neutrons are remaining. And uh, after this uh, uh, neutron uh, moderate but, uh, modulation uh, simulation, we uh, we uh, record this uh, uh, modulated uh, neutron flux, and then it, we put this into the uh, uh, decay chamber. So this is the uh, uh, interaction of the neutrino uh, neutron uh, with the decay chamber, which is decay chamber is actually made out of uh, uh, aluminum, uh, thin, thin aluminum. And you can see that uh, most of the ne uh, neutrons are coming from this uh, uh, thin axis. And some of the neutrons uh, produce some uh, photons that are uh, by interacting with this uh, uh, outer shell of the uh, uh, vacuum chamber. <laughs> and if you get, uh, if you filter out, if you uh, uh, make a selection of the uh, some specific energy threshold and also the detector fiducial volume cost, you can uh, you can uh, select some. Uh, 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 neutrons from it, and I mean, uh, which is which is uh, which will uh, expect it to be mimic the uh, signal, uh, our signal. So, this is one uh, 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 selection that we can use to reduce the uh, neutron uh, neutron background. And uh, another selection we can make is the uh, uh, distance of the closest approach and 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 uh, estimated. Uh, uh, vortex, vortex position curve. And this is actually uses the two different, uh, 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 we choose two different photons and then extrapolate their track back to back to the uh, their original uh, vortex. And then if they match it together within some uh, uh, within some specific uh, uh, 
distance, then we uh, uh, we cannot uh, tell uh, we cannot uh, distinguish that whether they are a background or they are some uh, uh, they are created by the ALB decaying. So so that is the one uh, selection criteria that you can uh, 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 reject some of these uh, beam related to uh, neutron. And also, uh, we also estimate the vertex position too. So if, if these two uh, extrapolated tracks does not meet uh, inside the dump, then these, those, those two uh, photons are, are not related to the uh, ALP signal. So we can reject those five. So this is also another uh, uh, effective cost to uh, remove those. Uh, 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 beam related between our induced uh, photons. And we use uh, also we use the uh, detector arrival time to in order to reject the uh, neutrino, uh, neutrino originated uh, photons. So they have, since the matinite uh, floor, so they have some certain time uh, time difference of the amount of arrival of these two different photons. So, but whereas the ALP decay almost uh, 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 they don't show any kind of these kind of uh, timing differences. So, yeah, so we use those uh, three kind of uh, So, this is the result of the simulation. This is the distance of distance of process of distribution for the uh, uh, for the sample that uh, after the cut of this uh, detector arrival cut with the and, the and after the threat of energy threat of the cut. <coughs> And then if you if you put some uh if you put some optimizing uh optimization cost here. So uh this this was our uh chosen uh in this study. <clears throat> and this shows the arrival time difference for the uh, different uh photon uh, two photon combination. <clears throat> this 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 shows that the uh, uh, uh rejection factor of the uh, of the uh, even this, uh, even delta T cut, <laughs> and also, uh, uh, so also the um, this is for uh, this is about the backtracing that I just mentioned that the uh, checking that whether the uh, two photons are coming from the dump. So this is when this is when uh, we did not apply this uh, backtracing cut. You can see that. Uh, the extrapolated uh, vertex position is very uh, wide. Which in here that uh, you can see, you can imagine that this size of this uh, vacuum chamber is uh, ten meter and ten meter, ten meter uh, diameter and ten meter long. But uh, but you can see that the vertex position is uh, fifty meter away or hundred meter away. So if you cut here, uh, if you apply a cut that uh, about uh, with the uh, Late, uh, using the radius of the uh, dome, uh, which we which was the uh, one meter uh, one meter diameter, so we can say okay, that most of we can cut uh, cut out most of this, uh, 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 background light uh, uh, How many neutrons you have for the UV? This is so here in this simulation, I used the ten to the eight photons were injected into the top, and then as a result of the uh, uh, modulator, in that modulation, I I was able to uh, I get uh, two hundred sixty neutron, which does not uh, consider the their direction whether they are going to the uh, detector. Or not. So this is the uh, yeah yeah I have so I mean. I have a, a 260k neutrons for 10 to the 8 photon, but uh, just uh, uh, oh, I didn't consider about so yeah, those, those neutrons are not all, all those neutrons are not going into the detector. So they need the, some small portion of the of the neutron creates uh, photons that are affected at the you go to the, the detector. So yeah. So that's what the energy. Uh, yeah, this is the energy spectrum of the neutron after the uh, modulation simulation. Good. 
if the input energy of the proton was uh, 600 energy, do you remember how many neutrons total? Um, the previous number was that it passed through the decay chamber, but do you know how many neutrons are produced in total? No, this number is not uh, when the they pass the uh, decay chamber. This, this is the right after the uh, neutron escape from the modulator. I see. Yeah. But, uh, this is the total number of the neutron after they pass the graduate. Do you know how many inside? Yeah, yeah, that's the one that I didn't know. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so this photon production yeah. in the detector. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the detector or well, like, the cable? The decay one. The decay one. Uh -huh. like, uh, you are producing the photons. For the neutron yeah, those are my background. Right. Yeah. So, but you are saying that the part neutron, there is only one photon. And that's why you are doing this thing to cut the out. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, there could be inelastic scattering, and there could be multiple photons down at the same time. So, have you looked into the inelastic inter energetic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the, the uh, photons were created by the inelastic scattering. So, yeah. and you found. Uh, only photons, mm -hmm. like one photon per neutron position. There will be multiple. Yeah, there is a multiple yeah, neutrons. So multiple photons also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so those go back to the out. Yeah, those are the backgrounds that you cannot distinguish from there. Yeah. So this, uh, yeah. So the rejection factor of this uh, backtrack in curve is about 10 to the minus 2 scale, and, this, uh, uh, and as a result of this curve, it's, uh, the survived photon pair uh, fraction is uh, 10, to the, 10 to the minus 2 uh, uh, order of minus. So, yeah, and also in uh, uh, finally, we can apply, since we use the uh, electromagnetic accelerometer as our detector, we can. We can reconstruct the invariant mass of two photons, so we can use uh, invariant mass cut uh, uh, by uh, the, uh, in the, the mass region that we are interested in. So uh, this is the uh, 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 reduction, uh, I mean, uh, rejection factor uh, 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 behavior as a, uh, in terms of the uh, as a function of the invariant mass uh, that we are interested in. So this is a summary of the uh, uh, Damsa uh, uh, study. So uh, this is a uh, 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 I I place the different uh, cuts and, that I used here. So and and also the uh, these are the reduction factors of this cut. So uh, in and in conclusion, more than uh, three one. Uh, minus three, minus one, minus one, minus two. You can see that the more than seven, uh, ten orders of magnitude can be suppressed. But uh, yeah, these are not uh, enough. I, I say yeah, these are not, not, not enough. So because there are many neutrons uh, are still there. But uh, I think I uh, I don't remember the, the exact uh, number. But uh, we actually in the uh, uh, if we calculate the, the yearly produce uh, 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 total neutron number, I think there we need more uh, about ten to the two or three more uh, uh, reduction factors are needed to fix. But, but uh, in any case, so uh, uh, we just uh, we uh, uh, based on this uh, cultural board all this uh, cultural applied we. Uh, 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 we estimated the uh, uh, AOP uh, sensitivity, which, but uh, the, the feature of this result shows that this, this part, uh, the high mass part in this uh, low uh, uh, perfection uh, region, is actually was able to uh, explore by the uh, uh, proximity of the sector between the sector and the uh, uh, source. So, yeah, this was the this is going to be uh, published soon uh, digitally. And uh, this is another story that the I, I recently find that found that uh, many, uh, yeah, it's an uh, interesting idea that uh, uh, we are going to use the uh, in uh, we are going to 
think about this beam dump experiment that using this uh, PIP2 uh, uh, accelerator, the term, term, and I say there's a familiar name here, but which is Kevin here, so and Kevin. So uh, the idea is that uh, we are going to use uh, uh, this uh, uh, PIP2 uh, accelerator and then and also put some uh, beam dump material in, in the beam axis. So they will be able to uh, expect similar uh, 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 benefits from the from the from the configuration. This, this is the uh, expect, expected uh, uh, ALP uh, density which and uh, decay mode and electron stream. So yeah, I'd like to conclude my talk. So uh, dark matter problem is uh, one of the most uh, interesting questions in particle physics. So. The uh, null outcomes from the uh, direct measurement are to uh, find some alternative scenario other than the uh, wind. And it's, uh, it's naturally this to uh, uh, think about more in, uh, innovative and creative ideas for this uh, dark matter problem. And today I uh, covered the dark, uh, light dark matter and external particle, which is uh, uh, coupled with the standard model portion. And this uh, photo induced property is an uh, accelerator driven six target experiment for uh, just beam dump experiment to be the uh, best place to uh, uh, test the kind of uh, scenario. So, Dune is a Dune detector and an uh, outstanding near uh, precision near detector with high intensity particle, uh, uh, dark vector particle code and also interesting operation mode uh, such as uh, Dune prism or uh, we have some. We have a new suggestion of the tune dump, and also today I covered some uh, downside experiment, which is a conceptual experiment of both. The key idea of the downside is that uh, maximizing the uh, dark particle sensitivity using the proximity uh, detector to the source. So uh, today I covered uh, mostly about the beam related uh, neutron uh, mitigation strategy. So. Uh, there was a different kind of different uh, strategy can be applied to in order to uh, mitigate those uh, neutrons and uh, like, uh, like simulation we just showed that uh, at least uh, seven orders of negative neutron uh, background can be controlled and we will be benefit to uh, explore some uh, uh, unexplored vision of the uh, dark sector particles. Thank you very much. Okay, so questions for you. Yes. So your neutron so where is your detector? In the forward direction or in the in the forward direction? So uh, wouldn't it be beneficial to to get a 90 degree or even in the back of this of your target to get rid of it? Because I see neutrons are mostly energetic. It's not isotropic, but your photon is isotropic if you're using for out. So why don't you take your detector away from the power direction? To yeah, I think I think we considered about having a four pi detector at first, but uh, uh, it is actually <laughs> uh, uh, you know <clears throat> considering the efficiency and the. Economics and uh, those kind of things. Oh, yeah. so for not before, but I just move the detector to the mm -hmm. back of the like 90 degrees. Oh, back. But well, yeah, 180 degrees. You mean, you mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah but then uh, you see, uh, uh, photon is isotope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but neutron is not. So you can get rid of it. Uh, just I was thinking. Hmm. You know more. Yeah, actually, but we uh, thought about that option, uh -huh. uh, and then, uh, but uh, we realized that uh, you know the most of the uh, sort of all the portions, uh, which would you know potentially produce heavy mass, that's uh, like particles. Uh, they are mostly moving in the forward uh, the direction. So, uh, so as you remember, you. Know, but uh, why do you target those if you want to target long? Right. So the, the target is uh so we want to uh, you know the uh the 
control uh, yeah, of our, you know, uh, the right region to Saudi Arabia, you're talking about uh, heavy acting like a particle. Then, uh, you know, photons should be energetic enough. And then yeah. uh, those energetic, you know, the photons are mostly moving forward. Right? But then that's why we decided to put the other capacitor uh, before the decision, uh, despite the uh, uh, yeah, I forgot to put here the uh, angular uh, angular distribution of this uh, photon from the most of the energetic photons were uh, going forward in action. So, other questions? So, yeah, I actually have a you just don't have any questions. So yeah, uh, in one slide you show the uh, the dual uh, angular resolution. Yeah, that's the actually that's the angular resolution of the uh, regular TV step. Yeah. So is it really uh the resolution? I mean, what is the uh, resolution here? So the resolution uh, with with respect to the you know the momentum uh, the direction or uh, resolution means, uh, I mean, uh, compare the two uh, uh, two electron uh, track direction, and then the and then we we uh, we compare this with the reconstructed electron track, and then the, we we uh, we see the deviation between those. Uh, this is actually the simulation uh, simulation region. Actually, the authors of this uh, paper. Uh, used to be the uh, Minerva ex uh, experiment simulator toolkit in order to uh, uh, obtain dune like uh, 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 result. So they used uh, the uh, simulation, uh, gentle simulation, in order to obtain this uh, electron track uh, reconstruction. And then, yeah, with this track, uh, using this track reconstruction, we, uh, we see this uh, delta theta. Del delta theta is that uh, the deviation of the uh, uh, reconstructed thread of the uh, uh, end of simulation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So the zero means, uh, so yeah, the reconstruction is perfectly aligned with the diameter in the inject injection uh, particle. Okay, so then the, the implied, so suppose I uh, have you know, the two you know, electron tracks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so this comes with, the, I mean, this uh, uh, has you know, some. Uh, you know, one uh, electron has in the home. Uh, yeah, in the the question, yeah, yeah. For example, in one GB electron, hey, I'm not sure where, where is the one sigma, but the uh, expression <laughs> about uh, 10 million at the end. Uh, it is like one sigma region. So within this within this angular uh, uh, deviation, we cannot distinguish two different tracks in the in 10 million um, at the Because the, the, when, when we have a low energy electron, the multiple scattering and the kind of thing. So yeah, sure. Yeah. A high energy electron being there, so such effect. So, so but I more, get, uh, fine. Yeah. So, but I guess you know, the, the electron uh, uh, you know, produces you know, the multiple scattering, uh, but, but I don't think you, you will see you know, the entire track, but I guess you know, the, the beginning part only. Yeah. So, to see the what, what do you mean, beginning part? I mean, so you, you're uh, expecting the energy loss in the period? Yeah, so I still remember, you know, the uh, when the electron uh, that comes in or the plasma comes in, mm -hmm. and then it just, you know, the gives, uh, it starts, you know, the development of the, you know, the shower. Shower, yeah. So then the, at the end, you know, it's complicated, you know, yeah. uh, the developing complicated quality. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, easily they can, you know, the, uh, the all of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess, you know, this resolution, mm -hmm. uh, Study is based on the uh, the sort of you know, the beginning part of the other uh, shower. Like it. So my naive guess is you know once you know you know the shower becomes really complicated, mm -hmm. then even if uh, the two tracks are you know uh, uh, well separated, mm -hmm. then I guess you know the shower regions are sort of you know the overlap, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, uh, then it's it's hard to you know to study the uh, 
uh, the whether they are separate or not. But I guess you know this seems like it's not so you're worrying about whether if, if you have a high energy electron comes in, then the, they they easily develop uh, big showers in in it. And yeah, at the end, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 definitely. Kind of like yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess you know this study is based on. Uh, I mean, yeah, low energy. These, these are just uh, ah, one GB ways. and five GB electron tracks. Right? So, yeah. But 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 mm. if the electron energy is higher, then mm, I think mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I need yeah, to check this book again. Yeah. yeah. But they are, whether they are using the uh, individual tracks or mm -hmm. or the, the collection of these or whole uh, electron showers. But it looks like I think. Uh, it's uh they are using the individual electron track, not not the shot the four shot. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so other questions for him? If not, uh the last thing uh will be so uh so uh so we will uh so have you know the dinner uh the theater. Uh, so if you are interested in uh, having uh, the dinner, like uh, six people, uh, please come in and uh, we will leave around in six, six minutes. Okay, so thank you. Thank you.